Okay, here we are. Fantastic, Melissa. Thank you. Elaine is with me. Let's review the market. Welcome, everyone. My name is Melissa and I'm reviewing this market, and I predicted that this market would drop. It was a great call. I predicted that it would drop on Tuesday night at 6.40 at night. I was watching the market there, and I saw that a big sell-off and a big drop was coming. Then we rallied the next day. I, I held the conviction. Then we gapped down here. I've called puts on so many different days. We call, I called puts here. I called puts here. I, I called puts many, many days. I, I've just lost track of how many puts I've caught. I've called quite frankly I knew that we would break this we haven't broken it yet but we will I was surprised we didn't break it yesterday did it matter no when we got down today that I knew that we were gonna fall today and in fact I'm gonna read the talking points that I said to, to, to the TV people I'm gonna read them right now but anyways where do we go from here we're, we're lower and we are gonna break this right now into the close here, we're gonna sell off, and the diamonds already broke this. So a lot of people buy dips in the market. A lot of people buy double bottoms in the market. A lot of people bought this market here yesterday, but not me and not anyone that trades with me if they're following the trades that I'm calling out on the options letter in the day trading room. This was a great call for many, many reasons, but one of it was because it didn't go easily. I said that over and over and every day, literally I was reminding myself that I was reminding everybody that this isn't gonna go easily, that this isn't going easily. It's not going easily. It's gonna go easily any second. Probably between now and near the close, it's gonna go easily. Depending on how we shell off, how big we shell off, and where we close today, it's very difficult to see where we're gonna open tomorrow morning. What could happen is that we sell off really big into the close and then sell off after four tonight but then because the White House is maybe doing a press conference tonight, that could create then a move up late, late tonight into early tomorrow morning. So I don't know where we go tomorrow morning because of that, because the, the administration is trying to prevent the sell off, but it's not going to prevent it from happening right now. And it's really hasn't prevented it from happening the last week. But the market kept kept trying to hold up, but I knew it was going to let it up. And we were dropping all along the way anyways. But the fact that people bought this double bottom yesterday was one of the stupidest trades I've ever seen people take. And literally almost every person that I heard talking on TV in the last two days told people to buy the dip. I had people last week telling people to buy the dip. And if you bought that, you lost money and we're down. Here we go. Let's watch this happen here live. 273.50. Still not going easily. And one of the reasons is Apple. Apple's finally red, but not that much. I mean, Apple just does not want to fall. People love Apple. People will buy Apple no matter what. They think this is a cheap price for it, but it's a lot cheaper at 250 240 235 I don't know if it goes there, but it's a hell of a lot cheaper there than it is right now. So Apple's got to sell off. The banks have got to sell off. J.P. Morgan Chase has to get down here to this area and break it as well. These banks have to start seeing selling, 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 and then you're going to see all of this pulled down. Now, Boeing has been selling off. This, this is going to go to 190, 192, it looks like today. Oh my gosh, an hour and a half left to go. This is just straight selling down here to the end of the earth. This was a great call for many, 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 many reasons. And I, I ought to call this perfectly simply because of the fact that mostly I focus on shorting. And that is what, it's a class I do every month. And if you don't know how to short and you need to give me an email and do the class on March 21st and 22nd. So let me read the talking points here now. And if some of you here that are listening here from the class that didn't, weren't in the room this morning, I'm gonna read the talking points. Oh, look at this here. We didn't, look at this here. We're actually bouncing here. Look at this here. Can you believe that we're actually bouncing here? This is really kind of funny. 273.84, 273.50, 273.45. So we didn't even touch it yet, and we're kind of bouncing here. That's really funny that people actually are actually buying here. That's like kind of really even almost hysterical, besides the fact it's insane. <laughs> All right, here's, here's what I said today. Oh, this is a good write up. I just full on laid it out. And I was right. I sent this out this morning at 8.04. The market is gapping down today on a day that most people thought we would see buying due to a rally yesterday. But yesterday was a lackluster rally in my mind. We simply are going to drop full stop. And the selling is going to come in big time. We're seeing that right now. I, but we're going to see it more, by the way. 
I saw this last Tuesday night, March 3rd. At that point, no one may have believed me, but I was right and I'm often right on my market call. I've been calling shorts for my clients and puts in Boeing, Spot, Q's, QQ's, Diamonds, which have been steadily dropping since March 3rd. As for why we're dropping, companies are seeing a drop in the business and therefore in revenue due to the coronavirus scare. Meetings and events are being canceled and people don't want to travel or shop in stores. Companies are taking precaution to protect workers, but they also need to make money. Well, this has not only been going on for a short while this has only been going on for a short time, the fact is that no one knows when the scare will end. Trump lifting payroll taxes, that's what they were talking about last night, will not solve this problem. And I don't think it will even make it better for any length of time. It's like putting a Band-Aid in a gunshot. Some say it won't end until a vaccine is created that works. Some say it will get much worse until it gets better. I say the market is always a forward indicator of things to come, meaning the market sees things ahead of time and reacts immediately. Right now, things may get worse a bit before they get better, but this is not the end of the world. Companies and workers have amazing ability to come back, and so does the market. For now, all the people I've been hearing on TV last week and this week have been suggesting people buy here, or last week, if you bought last week, you were down or lost money, by the way. Buying dips is terrible advice, in my opinion. One of the reasons I saw this sell-off so early is because I read institutional buying and selling in the gap. It is the money that comes in that moves the market in the post-market and pre-market hours. Retail traders typically do not trade that time frame hours. There's low volume, wild moves, and not the same margin. Institutional money is not buying here. Therefore, people should not buy right now because the market is lower. But like the market saw yesterday was retail traders buying what they thought was a bottom from Monday and Tuesday, which, by the way, was a terrible trade. Buying bottoms is a terrible strategy. And if I ran a hedge fund, I would not be buying here. I would be either shorting or waiting to buy. And someday I may start a hedge fund because the way I've been accurately predicting and reading this market is direction is absolutely perfect. I actually said that today and I, man, was I right. I'm very good at reading institutional money in the market and gaps. It is something very, very special and very unique that I taught myself how to do. It is the reason I have successful business for the last 12 years and why I saw the sell off this week and last week and it is not over. When the time to buy comes to, I will know that beforehand as well. Big funds move the market, not active traders. And unfortunately, people on TV too often tell people to buy early and people listen and then get upset with the market or TV people. Active traders should know what they are doing to trade this market. And people should always know what they're doing to risk money. Trading and investing is risky. And when you don't have a set specific strategy to follow, you will lose. If you know what to do, you will win and make a lot of money as my clients have been. There is not... There is not a place here now that I would tell anyone for the short term to go long anytime soon. Some of my clients are already asking me where we stop dropping and where to buy. I say I can't tell you where to buy yet. And to me, that means we're going to drop. And to be honest, we might even tank. So this is what we're waiting to see. We're waiting really to see here if we're going to tank. This isn't tanking yet. This is just selling. Ta I'll, ta I'll show you what I mean by tanking. In fact, if the economy were not as strong as it is, we've already tanked. That was a great write-up. Um, okay, let's go on to what... Apple's at 274. I, tell me when Apple's at 265. I mean, honest to God, it's like, this is not, I mean, this is, this is not enough. Tell me when Apple's at 265. Then we'll look at this chart. It's annoying. This is the only reason the market hasn't sold off yet. That is holding the market up and Boeing is dragging the diamonds down. This is that, this is insane. Like the fact that I even called the day trade in this today. I'm so glad we went after this. Like every single day, I never let up. All right, what does tanking look like? Somebody tell me, anybody. What's a tank? Tanking would be, let's see if I can find a tank bar. It's been a long time. It's kind of tanking, but not really. Um, I can only go back to 1999. I can't go back to 1987 on my charts. This is kind of tanky looking here, because again, this straight down fell here, but it did it like in a week. Look at McDonald's. Let me, I'm trying to find an example of tanking. This is, look how hard, look at, look at, look at how this isn't giving it up. Like, it's going to give it up. But it's like, look, look, look at this even now, this doesn't want to give it up. Like, this doesn't even want to give it up now. Like, the fact that people are buying here is like so utterly, utterly, it's like, I just want to laugh. 
Um, let's look at that MCD. Well, tanking is Boeing. Here, I'll go back and look at Boeing. Tank tanking is Boeing. Yeah, that was kind of tanky. I said he could have shorted anything today. I was right. This this is tanking here. If this goes to 192, 191, 190 today, that's this is tanking. Boeing is tanking if it goes to 190 today. It'll be 30 point drop. That's not out of the question either. We got an hour and a half left in the day. Tie of the day here is almost 227. Right now we've gone ridiculously. So if this goes to 190 today, it will have gone almost 30 points. It would have gone 27 points. That's tanking. So uh, tanking is a 20 point drop plus. So a 20 point drop plus, like a 15, 16, 20 point drop, 260 here in the spy. This is here it goes. I mean, and 230 is looking up here in the diamonds. I called it, it was a great call. And the reason this was a great call, again, just to review, is because we didn't go easily. I saw it well ahead of time. So early, I saw it last Tuesday. And I held the conviction even though we rallied here and here and here. So to everyone that stayed with all these trades, fabulous job and congratulations. And I'm giving myself a round of applause even for holding the conviction as well. It's the gap that told me what to do. It was the gaps, every single gap in here that I rated, every single day that I was rating them, the bearish gaps, the bullish gaps, to know that the bullish gaps weren't good enough to go long, and then to know that the bearish gaps were ones to react on and take and short. It was both the bullish gaps and the bearish gaps that told me that the direction was lower. The bullish gaps weren't good enough to go long, and the bearish gaps were all good enough to short. Although you're waiting for the tank, there were many trades in here that you could have booked profits in as well. This is not giving it up easily. And the reason is Apple and the fact that people are trying to hold on to this double bottom and the fact that intrinsically the market is strong, but you can't stop a selling when it comes in. You cannot stop it. Just like you can't stop how fabulously I am reading this. I cannot be stopped. <laughs> Um, my calls have been extraordinary. See, the examples have been very useful and helpful. Yes, Elaine. Thank you. Zen Trader, how are you doing? How much money have you booked today and how much are you up? Give me a, give me a, give me a, give me a, give me a notice here. I mean, Elaine, did you book any of the Boeings here today? I mean, this is the one that you could have already booked if you wanted to. Let me just see if there's any other news here. today it's only Wednesday and again I had no idea that we're gonna that the that they were gonna come out to say and say there's a pandemic I had no idea Dow Jones industrial average down 20% entering bear market territory again we're we're not I want to clear the air here that the market's still bullish we are not bearish yet in the market just so you know I'll look at that tomorrow to see those numbers House Democrats and Vail Build increased sick leave. I don't see anything different here. You booked about 5,700 today and 2,800 yesterday. Okay, that was good. That was great. Was it all in Boeing or the some of the various things? Let's just watch this sell off here. Zen Trader, where are you at? Give me a heads up. How are you doing? I know you have a lot of trades on. Actually, let's look at our favorite Tesla. Tanky, tanky, tanky. What is tanking in Tesla? 500, 450, 400. <laughs> I mean, this is like, in fact, let me just look at some of these things. That was all Boeing. I just, you know, I mean, you just, and I've called so many different things at so many different dates. And I think I think I think everybody's gotta watch the dates and watch the things. But I I mean we wanna we wanna wait for the tanky. I'm sure something else I was gonna say. This is a great call. Zen Trader, how are you doing? I know you said earlier you booked nine thousand today. I think it was on Boeing, I'm guessing. 
Uh, how are you doing with everything else? So everything I called today that was new today just went right, 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 right up. I mean, everything today that I called that was new today just went positive immediately. So the ones outstanding, oh my God, look at this here. We didn't break it yet. Like we will today now. We will. But look at this. Can you believe? This is insane. Did we, we didn't break that yet. People are buying this again. Can you believe it? 27350, 27345, 27360. <laughs> is it because of Apple? Probably. I don't know. Oh my God. This is truly, truly, truly hilarious. And if we don't sell off and break this area today, between now and 359, then we're gonna gap down tomorrow. In the gap, we'll break it. I know that as clear as day. <laughs> but I'm like utterly shocked that this didn't just do it this second. This market isn't going easily, but the fact that I can see that it's going is great. All right, listen, if you're interested in the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Um, and I will see the rest of you whenever I see you. Great job, everybody that's booking money. Great job, everybody that held the conviction that did the trades. Um, just make sure to book profits along the way, but make this market pay you. Make this market pay you now. We got it. I had a fabulous, phenomenal call here. I can't, this is, I mean, this is probably a better call than the Teslas I called simply because of the fact that it was a very, very challenging read but I double triple check myself every day in the gaps and and here here we may do it now. Let's just see if he says this right now here at 2:30. Let me just look and see if there's anything else out. Does anyone else have any other questions here before I let everybody go? different all right I gotta get some stuff done here good luck everyone congrats and have a wonderful day